Good evening, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. On Monday, October 16th at 9.08 p.m. Mountain Time, 2017. What you're looking at is another near-Earth object passing us by as this video is being made. It, they found it yesterday and they named it 2017TH5. You can see it here on close approach yesterday and tonight and currently as we're making the video. This asteroid was first observed at Mount Lemmon's survey on October 15, 2017. It belongs to the Apollo group of asteroids. Its estimated diameter is between 6.3 and 14 meters. I'll leave you links to this. Pretty cool. We have lots of objects flying by Earth, folks. Here's a great article out. Uh, Giant tsunami reshaped California coastline coming out tomorrow. Interesting how they did that. New evidence suggests a giant tsunami hit the coast 900 years ago, removing three to five times more sand than El Nino storm in history. All we need to do is go into the Greenland ice core data, go back 900 years, and you can see that this is the grand solar minimum drop-off um, that killed the Vikings. That's when that tsunami hit, so... As the cosmic ray flux increased, volcanoes started erupting. The temperature dropped dramatically. That tsunami was probably from a huge Cascadia earthquake offshore. We'll be back to that graph. So please read about this. Um, there has been other tsunamis 400 years ago during the last grand solar minimum, etc. So. Get yourself updated on that. La Palma Volcano map shows Canary Islands smashed by hundreds of earthquakes in the last 15 hours. This is getting dangerous, folks. There is a has been an earthquake swarm here. We can see the graph. Check out this 3D model. Wonder if it'll enlarge here. So what you're looking at is the seismic activity in three dimensions below the island and the depths. Hopefully we can get this to spin. We'll come back to that. I'll let it load for a minute. So we're talking about the southern tip of La Palma here. And I'll leave you links to all this. Look at these earthquakes uh, happening in the Canary Islands. That's the swarm from the 14th. Folks, this is uh, the portion of the caldera that's expected to slide off into the ocean to form those catastrophic tsunamis. So, it's a heads up on that. Let's move on. 12,000 years ago, Florida hurricanes heated up despite chilly seas. According to new research by Michael Toomey and his colleagues from the Geologic Society of America's journal, Geology, Cat 5 hurricanes may have slammed Florida repeatedly during the chilly Younger Dryas 12,000 years ago. As hurricanes suppressing effects of cooler sea surface were outweighed by the side effects of slowed down earth, ocean circulation. So even though the Atlantic is going to get colder moving into the next grand solar minimum, Slowed ocean circulation will allow Cat 5 storms to continue to slam Florida. That's a heads up there if you're planning on staying in Florida. Hurricane Ophelia sheds light on another climate change concern. This is the furthest east that a Cat 3 hurricane has ever traveled in the Atlantic Basin since records began. I will leave you links to that article. Let's talk about Cinnabung. Started erupting yesterday again, spewing hot ash into the air. The volcano is in Cairo, Indonesia, last erupted in May last year, killing seven. Cinnabung first started erupting in 2010 after lying dormant for 400 years since the Maunder Minimum. And it's waking up during the modern minimum because of cosmic ray flux. A huge volcano in Indonesia erupted on Sunday, spewing hot ash into the air. Thousands were evacuated after Mount Cinnabung started erupting and spewing ash half a kilometer. This is more ash and CO2 going into our air, cooling our planet, folks. A lot of dust, a lot of albedo, a lot of sun blocking. They're talking about Mount Agunghil here being threatened to erupt for weeks. 
Disaster Mitigation Agency spokesman Sutupo Puaro Nugruro has Mount Agung is very dangerous. Could explode anytime. I'll leave you links. Nonstop rain. Let's turn over to flooding. Nonstop rain causes flooding in the Chicago area. That's record flooding. Here's record rainfall. I'll leave you links to the article. Talk about more flooding. Flooding in uh, Corpus Christi, Texas. They're having to release dam water because uh, lakes are at their maximum, causing communities to flood. This is only going to increase globally. Coming over to Queensland flooding. Man found dead inside his car. Talk about crop loss. Farmers in India, 70% crop loss after a week of heavy rain. There are two links to this. This is huge amounts of crop loss. We have crop loss all over India. Tens of thousands of hectares of crop loss. Here's another article. Here they're saying 21,500 hectares on Thursday evening alone. Talking about crop losses, the reports are out of Irma's devastation and the Florida citrus crop. And it looks like... Um, 50 to 75 percent losses. Not only is that no citrus fruit, but there are no jobs. Oranges, they look terrible. They're literally dead. My computer's freezing up. I'm sorry, guys. Just had this mo uh, problem a minute ago. Another uh, article I'll leave you is Crop Loss Disaster Declaration in Calumet and surrounding county counties. This is from the Summer Storms. In Wisconsin, Calumet and six other surrounding counties are declared disaster areas by the Department of Agriculture. It comes after rain-soaked June and July caused crops to flood. This comes after uh, the May blizzard, which wiped out the spring grain crop. This year's strawberry picking season is going to be a rough start. So up to 60% loss of strawberries here, pumpkin crops sustaining damage. I'll leave you links to all these articles. Not a lot of seismic activity worldwide. We do have Cinnabon erupting. I'll leave you links to that. Um, there's lava flowing. There are 51 volcanoes erupting worldwide currently, and we're keeping an eye on it. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. If you haven't subscribed, share this with like-minded individuals so we can keep growing our community. Be safe, everybody.